Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. A decision on Oahu's next landfill is one step closer tonight. Last month, the Landfill Site Selection Committee added federal lands to the pool of potential landfill sites, driving that list up to 22. Today, the panel ranked the parcels using criteria like proximity to homes and agricultural land. To many people's surprise, Amaran's rock quarry in Kailua topped the list. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has reaction to the news in our top story. I know nothing about them. All I would say is not us. Amron's president, Wade Wakayama, says he's disappointed and surprised that the rock quarry ranked number one on the list. The 103 year old company has been at this site for at least 50 years, and its lease with Kaneohe Ranch doesn't expire until 2052. The company was targeted seven years ago during the last go around, and it expected it would once again be considered. We are a quarry, we are a hole, you know, so I think every hole in the ground should be a target. Amron employs some 300 workers, and Wakayama estimates that it could cost $100 million to relocate somewhere else. Displacing the business could be dicey, since Amron has a contract to provide concrete for the first phase of the city's rail project. Some are already questioning if the city administration would do that. When Red Oahu community groups are concerned about the environmental impacts of having the landfill so close to Kauai Nui Marsh, which has been designated as an important wetlands. Others say the site is far from where most of the new development is planned. It doesn't make any sense to use that as a, as a landfill and then transfer stuff all the way across the island to H Power. But Leeward Coast representatives point out, unlike Farrington Highway, which is the only way in and out for some 200 garbage trucks, Kailua has options. You literally have four or five ways to access the site. Wynwood area lawmakers are bracing for a fight. Please don't forget, we had a landfill out here for 40 years. The other side of the island had one for about 20 years. So living on an island, all of us need to be able to shoulder Oahu's burdens equally. And I think Wynwood Oahu has done our part. Now, we should say that number two on that ranking list was a site in the Nanakuli Wainai area. There was about a hundred points spread between those top two sites. Now, the panel's recommendation will head to the mayor. The permit for the current landfill expires in a few months, but the city is asking for another extension. Back to you.